Hey YouTube, welcome to One Little Coder. If you are like me, who is a big fan of hugging face spaces, then you might be always thinking, how do I copy some code from a hugging face space and then duplicate it? How do I copy and paste it in a different space? The thing that most people would have been doing is git clone it, copy code one by one, a lot of different ways. Like people have been using a lot of hacks. I've been using a lot of hacks. This is primarily to learn from the existing space and also improve upon it. And that's that's exactly what the open source culture is all about and that's why we share our spaces. But today Hugging Face has made it really, really easy and simple for us to duplicate a space. Yes, absolutely. All you have to do is go to the space that you want to do. For example, I'm going to look at the fashion aggregator space. This is a space that I just saw and I absolutely loved it. Let me quickly show you what the space is. I can say um, a beautiful shirt with floral design and then it's going to give me all the pictures with the links to it. So what if I want to use this space and then build on top of it, like with all due credits to the actual creator of the space. So then what do I do? Now all I have to do is I have to go click this three dots and click duplicate the space and it's going to ask, okay, am I the owner? What is the space name that I want to give? I can say, you know, duplicate it and I can duplicate the space and click this and that's it. So they also give you, if you don't want to duplicate it on the profile, they also give you the code how you can duplicate it. But at this point, you can just click it and then it gets duplicated inside your own space. But there are certain nuances that you need to understand. You can also see from where this has been duplicated. This is a very good feature. It's quite common with what GitHub has been doing, quite common with what Kaggle has been doing. If you fork, a repository or a notebook, it is always attributed back to the original creator. That also motivates everybody to share what they learn and still, you know, keep the originality back. So that's a good thing. The second thing that you have to notice is, for example, there are certain spaces that run on T4 or A100, different kind of stuff, GPUs, which you may not have access to, you have to pay for it. What happens when you duplicate or clone a space? that is running on a GPU, then it gets downgraded to CPU and you have an option to upgrade to GPU if you want to pay, if you're ready to pay for it. Overall, it's quite simple for you to duplicate a repository, oh, sorry, duplicate a space. You can start making changes on that. Like, let me, let me go see if the space that we try to create has been um, built for us, okay? It is still getting built. You can see it is still getting built. But meanwhile, what you can do is you can click the files and versions and then you can start making changes to it. For example, let's say I want to make a change in the app. Um, I can go click again here, edit, and then say, this has been duplicated to show the new duplication feature demo and then I can add it back and then I can say added notes for the duplication something and commit to me and that's it you have now added and you can see the notes here when you click files and versions you can see the note or the commit message what we have done you can see how this is going to enable more collaborative open source sharing and collaborative learning and building. And I'm really excited about how simple it is. All you have to do is go to the space that you like, for example, pick any space. Like if I have to pick one of my spaces, you can pick the space, go click the three dots, click duplicate the space. Once you click it, it is going to say, are you the owner? Like this is a profile, the space name. If you want to duplicate under your profile, you can do it. Or if you want to do it locally, all you have to do is git clone. And that's something that we have been doing already. This is an amazing feature. I'm really excited about it. That's why I wanted to make this short tutorial. If you have any issues, please let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Happy building. Peace.